Now that we've talked about all the different elements that make up the mix window, now I want to share some cool tips and tricks that are going to help you speed up your workflow while you're mixing in Pro Tools. This is going to include some very simple keyboard shortcuts and commands that once you master and they become second nature to you, will definitely speed up how you work in the Pro Tools mix window. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, simple navigation. If you're on a Mac and you're using the Apple mouse, it's very easy. You can scroll up and down, left and right, all very intuitively just by moving your finger along the mouse where the mouse wheel would be. However, if you're not on a Mac and you're not using an Apple mouse, this becomes a little less intuitive, but still very simple using a keyboard modifier. So you can still go up and down very easily with your mouse scroll wheel. And then to go left and right, you add a keyboard modifier of the shift key on your keyboard. And then when you scroll with your mouse wheel, you're going to go left and right. Now, this is definitely just a simple thing. It's a very quick fix to your workflow. But if you don't already do this, this is going to save you a lot of time, especially when working in very large sessions. The next tip I want to share is being efficient as you're selecting the tracks. Now, to select a track, of course, you click down here where the name of the track is. But you'll notice as I click other tracks, that one does not stay selected. So if we want to select more than one track at a time, there's a few ways to do this. First, let's talk about if you want a bunch of tracks that are consecutive right next to each other selected all at once. You can click on the first one and then hold shift and click on the last one, and it's going to select all the ones between the first and the last one that you select. And you can add to this as well by picking one further down the line and shift clicking that one. Now, what happens if you don't want all the consecutive tracks selected? You can hold command if you're on a Mac, control if you're on a PC, and then start selectively selecting the tracks that you do want selected. So now you're probably thinking, well, great. Now I know how to select the tracks, but what good does that do me? And the answer is you can work on any selected tracks all at once with a simple keyboard command. Let me show you what I mean. If I were to click mute on this track or even solo, nothing happens to the other selected tracks. However, if I hold shift and option on a Mac or shift and alt on a PC, when I click on these functions, now it's going to do it to any selected track. And this is going to work with not just the solo and the mute, but it's going to work with your record arm or anything else as well. So hypothetically, let's say I wanted to mute all these background vocals labeled Ben one, two, three, four, and then the bus and the reverb as well. I would click on the first track and then hold shift and click on the last track and then holding shift and option on a Mac shift and alt on a PC. I'm going to hit the mute on any of the tracks and that's going to mute all of the selected tracks at once. And as I mentioned, this same key command of shift and option on a Mac, shift alt on a PC will actually allow you to perform lots of different functions across any selected tracks. For instance, if I wanted to change the input on all of these Ben background vocals all at once, I could do so by holding shift option or shift alt and then changing the input on any of these tracks. And if that's not cool enough, the exact same keyboard commands can be used to add or remove plugins from multiple tracks as well. I'm just going to close this plugin window and then let's talk about the last thing, which is being more efficient while working with the pan knobs and with the faders. First thing I want you to notice as I move the fader, look down here and notice that as I move it, it's not a very fine adjustment. And sometimes this is what you want because it allows you to move quickly. But if you do want to make fine adjustments, you can hold command on a Mac or control on a PC. And then when you click and drag the fader, you're going to be able to make much finer adjustments. And this has the exact same effect on the pan knobs as well. Instead of going really fast and making these coarse movements, you can be much more precise with it by holding command on a Mac, control on a PC. And the last thing I want to talk about in this video is being able to set things back to unity gain, and that's holding option on a Mac or alt on a PC. When you click on the fader, it's going to bring it up to unity. And of course you can undo this with command Z on a Mac, control Z on a PC. And in addition to being able to set the faders to unity gain, 
You can also use the Option or Alt key to return the pan knobs to the center position. Again, I'll undo those, and you can add Shift to this key command to actually apply this to multiple tracks at once. So that's everything for this video. I hope you picked up some cool tricks on how to be faster and more efficient in the mix window. In the next video, we're going to be talking about managing our CPU, because if our computer is crashing and having all sorts of problems, it makes it really hard to mix effectively.